and we're back this time with a very nice feature the noise listener this will make your AI look way more believable and realistic so let's see how it works so in this current beta version that I published I forgot to add uh, in here in the menu but on the next update it will be here it's the AI noise listener so you can add it here as well the VAI noise listener uh, the noise has a radius effect and the noise volume decreases depending on the distance and the listener power will amplify the distance of the noise to the listener so here is how much he can hurt actually so let's create something that makes noise so our AI can hear I am going to create a simple sphere collider a uh, sphere game object with a collider and I will add the noise object cool you already can see the radius the mean distance and the max distance I can I will increase this a little bit position here behind the AI also I will add a rigid body so my object can fall and only when the my object hit the ground I want to trigger a sound and I want to trigger the noise method so that my listeners can hear to do that I'm going to use my simple trigger script this is just a simple trigger it will detect uh, any you can filter what type of layers and tags in this case I want to use the floor so it's using the layer default and tag uh, let's use here the untagged right and the default so when uh, you, you can notice that when I add a simple trigger it will it automatically create a hitbox and I will check here as trigger so and when my simple trigger uh, hits the ground I want to call it sphere gaming object and access D noise object and call the method trigger noise get it we use the event of the simple trigger uh, that will verify on trigger enter this box collider when it enters and trigger the mesh with the layer default and tag untagged it will trigger uh, this event that calls a trigger noise cool now let's add a sound let me see if I have any uh, cool sounds here mm, this one will do I don't want to play on awake I just want to play when the trigger enters uh, and I want to call it the play so uh, that's it this will trigger the noise you can see here the noise object we have the noise type so you can uh, filter separate types of noise like bullets and uh, distractions uh, rocks and anyway I will use a distraction for this one I can choose the duration I think this sound is about um, let me see five seconds long so um, 0 0.5 will do <coughs> just to call the the attention of the AI you can also trigger on start or make a looping for example if you're using on a alarm system this will actually make the noise listener um, knows that there is a noise to, uh, to hear it but we need to do something uh, to change the behavior of the AI and we do that with the FSM so for that we need a decision called is listening noise that I can change the name to anything that you prefer um, something like uh, here it's something and in here you can see um, we have the noise type and we declare over there that noise type was distraction I can put it here 
to filter any distraction so heard heard a distraction or I can listen to any noise at all in this case heard any noise if you need to create another a a decision you can just edit another one of that and you can make one for specific like bullets and one for the other thing other types of noise and you can create different behaviors for that so in this case let me use just the heard any noise before using my decision I need to create a new node let's call it investigate noise if you click here in the transition it will show options for that transition like remove and duplicate it and if you hit here on the actual state it will have the option for a new transition so let's drag and drop to our new state investigate noise and click here in this transition to add the hardened noise decision if it is true it will go to investigate the noise the investigate noise we need a action and the action is go to noise position let's add it here into the go to noise position and for that we need to reset the current destination because if the AI is currently patrolling he has a current destination so we need to reset to actually assign a new position for him uh, in here we can we have a find new noises this is very useful for for example if you throw a rock to distract the AI but unfortunately you you have bad luck and the <laughs> and the rock kicks on a wall and got back to you and you got desperate you can always throw another rock and he will find a new noise and go to that new rock instead of the previous one that you mess up and you also have the look to noise position every look to an uh, option within the actions needs a head track as we mentioned in the head track tutorial now cool this is looking good we can test it now to help me identify the states that the AI will go through I will open the FSM debugger to help me figure it out let's see what happens let's first uh, disable this object hit play and as you can see the current idle is state for five seconds and now he enters the patrol now let's enable our sphere game object I will bring it a little bit here yep. he did go to investigate the noise and he is uh, actually looking at the object itself but I didn't quite like the, the reaction he instantly uh, turns and go to the object so let's do something different here let's create another transition instead of doing the transition directly from the end stage to the investigating noise I will do the transition to my new state it will be look at noise and I can use the same um, action that I used here which is the go to noise position but instead of going to the noise position I'm going to use the custom speed of idle to make the character stand on idle and look to the noise position from uh, where he is and now I can create a new transition to my investigate noising uh, that I can actually call go to uh, noise position you can always increase the size here and in, in here I don't need any decision I actually can use a transition delay so how much time the character will look at the noise um, I can put it like 4 seconds and then he will go to the noise position 
and here he will stay for another um, five seconds and then he will go to the idol and back to patrol but actually if I use the transition delay of five seconds here he will uh, exit this state very quickly he will stay during five seconds and who knows if he will take five seconds to reach the destination so what we need is another decision it is called is in destination we can use the is in destination here and if the agent is in the destination if it's true then I call I can exit after one second of the transition delay and go back to the idle so let's see if this works In the idle I look at the noise just like we saw I will investigate the noise and is in destination is true one second idle again and after five seconds of idle I'm going back to patrol pretty cool huh now that was just one example of how to use the noise listener another cool thing that you can do to make your AI more believable is to add a noise object on your weapons and call the noise trigger using the on shot event so that the AI will quickly notice you now let me demonstrate what I'm talking about in here uh, in the project we have the V FPS controller do not think this is a FPS solution it, it is not it is a very simple controller with very few uh, options to customize it says here it's a simple FPS controller added as a bonus just to see the AI in action so it's just to test it it's not a controller cool uh, we have here a weapon manager with an armored sword and handgun in the handgun let me check can use here so I can demonstrate uh, we use a FPS attack control it's basically events that I'm calling uh, I have the handgun here in the hierarchy and um, it's, the, it's the same handgun as the AI uses and what we have here is the events we use the event on shot to actually trigger the noise that we, we have here in the hierarchy as well a game object using the noise object as you can see here it's a pr pretty big one that you can customize for example for each weapon you can use a different noise object and use the noise types like a sniper has a gigantic uh, max distance uh, but uh, a weapon with a silencer uh, can use a very small distance so let me demonstrate that here is the shooter that we've created on the previous tutorials I don't have yet a noise listener on him so let me demonstrate what uh, what happens when I shot this AI without a noise listener I can actually shot and he will never notice me unless I shot on him and cause in them now let, let's add a noise listener to him and since this FSM uh, already has the investigate noise behavior it's already set up uh, let's see what happens I will shot and he will look at the object and already notice me as a target so that's pretty cool right you can there is plenty of things that you can do with the noise listener and I hope you do something creative I hope you do something new and create your AI with our AI template.